Hey guys, today I have a really simple short video for you, but I think it's going to be a useful one. It's how to install Motionary templates on your Final Cut system. I know a lot of people have questions about this. I see this often in the comments and I can understand why, because I feel like when you download a template from Motionary, the instructions are terrible. So I'm just going to walk you through it real quick and it's so easy. And once I show you, you'll never forget. Now, if you've never used Motion Array or you don't know what it is, it is a subscription site that's a great resource for an unlimited number of Final Cut templates, music cuts, sound effects, stock videos, stock photos, motion graphics, and a whole lot more. Motion Array makes templates for not just Final Cut, but Adobe After Effects, Premiere, and DaVinci Resolve. But we love Final Cut, so that's what we're talking about today. Let me just walk you through the whole process step by step. So let's say we wanted to grab these shake effects from Motion Array. I can just hit this download button and you'll get a zip file in your downloads folder. I'm going to double click it to open it. And here is the folder with the shake effects. Once you have that unzipped, open up that folder and you want to find the folder that has the name of the effect you downloaded. So this one is the shake effects. Now I need to drag and drop this folder into the appropriate place on my computer. Let me show you where that is. I'm going to hit control N to open up a new finder window. Then I'm going to head on over to Macintosh HD users find your user and open the movies folder. The easier option would just be to open your finder window and search for movies and look for that folder. Now you're going to see a bunch of other folders in here. The one you're looking for is motion templates, double click to open that. And you'll see folders here for effects, generators, titles, and transitions. We know this is an effect. It even says it in the name. So I just need to drag it and drop it into my effects folder. Now, when we open up Final Cut, open our effects bin, and there is our shake effects. But sometimes this method doesn't work, and I can see why people are confused. For instance, if you downloaded this really cool title from Motion Array, dropped it into your title folders, just like Jen Jager told you, and it doesn't show up in your titles bin, there's a reason. Sometimes these titles are actually built as generators, and so putting them in the titles folder won't work you actually need to put them in the generators folder. And this is how you know the difference. Once you download a template from Motion Array, unzip it and open up this folder until you can find a motion project. You definitely don't wanna mess with the file structure of these files, but you wanna do a little bit of digging here. If the motion project looks like this and says project, it goes in the generators folder. If the project looks like this and says titles, it goes into titles. If it looks like this and says effects, it goes into effects. And if it looks like this and says transitions, well, of course it goes into transitions. So it's not unusual to have to go through some trial and error to make sure that you get the template in the right folder. And I do wish Motion Array would do a better job of communicating to us users about where specifically each template should live in your system because you saw that that generator was actually tagged in Motion Array as a title. So it can be confusing, I get it. But at the end of the day, Motion Array is such a good value that I just, I like can't be mad at it. And what I do like about this drag and drop method of installing these templates is that when I'm done with the template and I don't wanna have to look at it in my bins anymore, I can easily just pull it out of that folder and put it somewhere else for safekeeping or just delete it off my system entirely. So you guys, let me know, did I help you out with installing your Motion Array templates. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Pick out some other videos I know you're going to love, and I'll see you again.